we have a new beginning over here. We do have the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. We are contemplating to accept an offer or not, right? It is a brand new beginning that, of course, it has this energy of, um, of starting slow, but boy, we build for the future. Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Your intuition is right on point when it comes to this offer, this new beginning. It has this energy of um, researching and asking questions, right? Because we know the High Priestess is also the I know kind of energy and we know by um, inquiring on the matter, right? And we do have the Empress and we know the Emperor is Aries energy, so maybe I'm picking up the um, the Empress Divine Feminine, right? The Aries Divine Feminine in a brand new beginning. Solid one. Unexpected one, right? It starts um, small, we don't really pay attention and then boom. We do have the Chariot in Reverse Cancer Energy. So we've been stuck in something here. We've been nurturing a dead end, it feels like, you know, with the Empress and the, uh, the Chariot. We've been stuck probably in a commitment, in a cold commitment. King of Swords, Gemini Liberal Aquarius energy. And legalities, contracts, we just cut them. We say no thank you. We disconnect from responsibilities and obligations. And we just let something go here. Oh, isn't it amazing? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, the overall energy of the month. And the King of Pentacles and the Justice Libra energy. I kind of feel here is that we've been rejected five of um five of cups and the um king of wands and that's the aries energy the king of wands we might have been rejected but guess what um it looks like you are at the end of the day you will get what you want that's the overall energy of the month be it justice be it karma be it a decision be it a sentence and guess what? It comes with money, King of Pentacles. It comes with financial stability, a business, a business idea. Um, it comes with you just feeling that, um, you know, um, you are on top of the world, uh, financially speaking. So. so if you wait for a settlement of some sort, a divorce of some sort with the justice, it looks like you, you'll get what you want. So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome. And I say possible because you always have free will and you always have um, to use your better judgment. Ace of Swords, we've been silenced by this connection. We've been silenced. We've been confused about Ace of Swords in reverse is a sense of um, lack of vision, not seeing the future, right? So let's see. So in the past, Aries, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, what happened? You might have left someone in the dust um, in the past, right? <laughs> I'm rhyming here. Um, um, and uh, we uh, have this energy of uh, regret, right? A sense of loss. Uh, Five of Cups is the energy of missing, of longing for someone. Um, and a rejection all over it. Maybe they rejected you or you said at some point enough and, and then you reconsidered in, in some way this energy. And, um, and opening lines of communication. But um, yeah... I feel like Aries, they walked away, right? Six of Swords with a death in reverse. Somebody left you with questions. Somebody left you while you are still emotionally bonded to them. Um, it has a sense of rejection and they might have left you financially uh, in need of assistance um, here, right? And it has a sense of Scorpio energy with the death, but it has a... a uh, Six of Swords is living in the middle of the night, uh, so probably that was a surprise and, and left a lot of questions unanswered and a lot of um, personal dealings were, um, you know, um, really unattended or not answered in some way. Um, kind of a cowardly, it has this energy areas of um, somebody cowardly uh, leaving you. And uh, mutual energies, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Tower in Reverse. But yet we managed to avoid disasters here, uh, to take it slow, one step at a time. 
can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn also. But um, at the end of the day, right, we um, we had a, a decent, it has a synergy of decent um, um, handling of this. Um, left us emotional and um, left them, and, and again, they try their best, right? Six of Swords is, I really need peace of mind. They were uh, themselves tormented by whatever happened between the two of you. And um, I don't think they left with an easy heart, um, if you are asking me, in terms of energies, right? But uh, it was a it was a decision of letting things unsaid and uh, not completed and and not decently, um, you know, managed uh, between the two of you. And um, and it's interesting, right? Uh, between the two of you, it has this energy of avoiding disasters, and it's the energy of it had to happen, and it had to happen at that moment that it happened, right? Um, so your energy right now, we have you suspended, the hangman. We have you watching and observing. We have you thinking uh, which way to go and Knight of Cups in reverse, right? We, uh, we are emotionally disconnecting. Um, there was a lot of love, that is no doubt, right? Knight of Cups is my love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card. It's the energy of... Um, of a beautiful love, right? A youthful one, and one that has um, emotions and energies of happiness and um, and fun and action, right? And right now we are a little bit again. A night in reverse is the energy of inaction, is the energy of of suspension. And I'm sensing areas that you're trying to understand their perspective there. Um, it has this energy of stepping back and finally starting to see something. Um, it has this energy of revelations through observations, um, going back into um, all that happened, right? And, and, and getting some clarity of some sort. Now this person of yours, they do have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands. A lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of disappointment, uh, feeling betrayed at this time by what's going on and feeling that they um, are still standing, right? No matter what, the sense of perseverance and a sense of self-protection and a sense of I'm, I'm going to manage this. I'm going to, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to be good. But again, they feel like um, you stepped all over them, um, Aries. Mutual energies between the two of you. The Devil in Reverse, Capricorn Energy, and the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. So we are not putting the effort in something that um, is toxic anymore. Um, it has this energy of this connection at some point. Uh, and I'm going to say it again, right? It was un unmanageable, and that is why to avoid disaster, somebody walked away. And right now at this point, you fight your own demons, they fight their own demons. Um, so the focus is not on the connection right now. They might be struggling with physical um, illness, a ten of swords, we know it's surgery and so on, but that's not a, a medical energy reading here. It's really... Um, so they might be, they might be at this point uh, struggling physically, but I feel by, by the guilt and the tower moment, you know, uh, almost a tower moment, a missed um, tower moment, we are still... Um, disconnecting in order to heal, to manage um, rough energies between the two of you. And you must be kidding me, Harris. I mean, that's amazing. Energy coming your way, I cannot in, uh, create this. Twice the Ace of Wands, passionate new beginnings. Ace of Wands, twice. A lot of excitement, a lot of creative new beginnings, a lot of passionate, sensual, playful new beginnings. And just a lot, a lot of fun. And maybe this is what we are awakening to at this point. Um, Aries, we have you rational. Yeah, but maybe a little bit emotional. But the, the hangman is really dealing with an energy of making the effort to understand what's going on and getting some perspective on it. And the outcome is just amazing. Twice the Ace of Wands. Um, and now this person of yours, Aries, they still, they still struggle, right? Ten of Pentacles in reverse, financial insecurities, um, confusion, illusion, daydreaming, uh, not knowing what they need to choose, and um, <clears throat> not in the right um, state of energies, right? 
And mutual energies, again, Aries, five of cups and three of swords. It's like feeling guilty for having hurt someone. Um, three of swords in reverse, five of cups, feeling guilty for the damage that we've done, right? I don't know if it's you, can be you, can be this person. Of course, you swap sides, you take only what's yours uh, and you resonate to it. But we have someone thriving with a new beginning, sensual, playful, passionate, doesn't have, you know, of course, Ace of Wands it's, um, can be with someone, but um, can be any type of new beginning, whatever you open up to and you manifest, right? But it, it has also this energy of someone feeling guilty for having hurt the other person and for the beautiful gifts that we receive, right? And I don't think you have a reason to feel guilty, um, Aries. But it has this energy of guilt for having such a passion and new beginning, such a an overwhelming new beginning. So let's ask for some guidance. We already love what's coming your way. <clears throat> so what do we have? Yin and Yang. This is about harmony, inward, outward energy. It has also the energy of um, you need to find peace with this person. You need to find, um, you know, um, reconciliation, but in a sense of with your own emotions and, um, you know, coming to terms. Um, it has this energy of they completed you um, at some point, right? We do have intimacy. So intimacy and harmony might be uh, something we are guided to work on at this time. Um you know, um, Ace of Wands is the energy of sensuality, sexuality, and playfulness. And somebody here is actually, that is an Aries out there that needs to, I mean, is guided to, right? You, you make your choice. You have free will. You have that power. But there is something about harmony, intimacy, and compatibility that we need to look into when it comes to connections, when it comes to people, people that we allow in our life. And we also have distorted feminine, right? So that is, I'm picking up the energy of a divine feminine who has a little bit of work um, to do when it comes to, again, intimacy, compatibility, harmony. And Aries, bottom of the deck, we have slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. So we might be going too fast in a new beginning. Um, and um, we have some steps um, here right now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow or we are guided to put back into the flow something we need to work on when it comes to your love life definitely there is no future with the person we are we picked up the energy um so let's see yin and yang so harmony surrender to success so you are ready to experience abundance and uh, ace of wands twice is really what makes your body and mind sing right so you are ready to experience abundance don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties leap into an exciting new world of possibilities so that's exactly what opens up for you <clears throat> we do have intimacy and love so we are guided to put back into the flow the energy of love I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things and success again. Compatibility, success, yin and yang, success. So compatibility and harmony, uh, mainly one and the same. And you have success again, right? Yin and yang, success, compatibility, success. So I kind of feel that the visionaries are um, guided to open up to new beginnings and, uh, and to love and intimacy. Um, but harmony and compatibility are important. So I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And the distorted feminine and self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So maybe you don't trust yourself. You don't see, sorry guys. So maybe you don't trust yourself. You don't see yourself worthy. And, um, and the universe is saying you are just fine, right? But of course it requires effort and I so love this because the outcome is twice the ace of wands, bottom of the deck is joy. So you delight in the love of life and bring the spirit of fun to all that you do. You are guided to bring joy back into your life, to have more fun, take things easy. 
and manifest harmony success compatibility success that is the i mean it's kind of like you know yeah it was a tough situation but next time think of this you know and i love this you have twice days of wands and the overall energy nine of cups wish fulfillment balance harmony and abundance beautiful it's a beautiful new beginning coming your way so um aries this is all that i have for you you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care